Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today, this is a totally unscripted video. I didn't expect to make this today. It was just something that felt right and it's gonna be completely unedited. I'm just gonna release it. Maybe I'll cut out some little bits, but everybody always says, bro, that wasn't unedited. And I'm like, yeah, no, it pretty much was. Like, so Simon's a liar. This is, again, a unscripted video. I'm so waiting for the edit on me saying liar. Right? It's gonna be a oh, it's oh, it's oh, oh, it's this is, again, an unscripted video. Uh, something that I wanted to make because I've been slowly looking over the internet and I feel that it's something that needs to be said. Call this a hot take if you want. I just want to get my opinion out there. Um, I think, you know, living with me, um, you can safely say that um, I'm pretty sick of the negativity around the Halo community. Yeah, Simon's a pretty positive guy. Yeah. I would say it's a, it's not like a face. He's like pretty, no, pretty no. positive. Guy. I mean, we were just playing through the Halo Infinite campaign last night. Incredible. My biggest question is, so fun. did people fall asleep at the wheel? Like, Halo Infinite released and the only comments on the internet are just complaining about the lack of content in multiplayer, which yes, multiplayer is dry as heck. I don't play it much. I only play the events. The campaign is the best we've ever got by far, the the scale of it, you know? Yeah. The Master Chief like literally gets destroyed, like the Infinity literally gets destroyed, the Master Chief's hanging through space, wakes up after oh. six months in cryosleep, and immediately storms Warship yeah. Gabracken. Like, that, that opening cutscene is... It's unreal. I want a movie of just that. We decided that I was ready to go on and go into, is it legendary? Le uh, no, mythic. That's not legendary. <laughs> no, no, that's mythic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're playing, okay. anyway, anyway, well, then, this guys. is not the point of today's video. People are gonna be like, what is the point of this video? Anyway, since Halo Infinite launched, it's delivered the best graphics, the best music, the best sound design, the best characters that we've really seen since at least Halo 3, Halo Reach. And I'm very thankful for it. I'm just so upset by the negativity on the community, the negativity towards the developers at 343 Industries, making probably some of them resign, the negativity towards the lack of content, which these guys during COVID weren't allowed in the same office for like more than a year and a half. Like, can you imagine designing a game where you're all in your own offices at home and you've got to Skype in on how the progress is going? Abysmal. The game was delayed by a year. It, it, like, I don't blame 343. Now, we fast forward to this point. Yes, there's no content for the game. Hopefully season two will start to deliver and Forge and co-op campaign eventually will follow. But right now, the Halo TV show is coming out and all people can do is complain about the lack of continuity to the law of the silver timeline, the fact that the Master Chief's face is being revealed. They're complaining about the covenant and like conscribing children. Here's the thing. I'm very concerned. Halo TV show has already dropped. It's, it's out right now today. I'm very- Today, Today's the day. Today's the day. Oh. And I'm very concerned that people are just not gonna give it a fair chance. My PSA to Halo fans Go in with an open mind. You like literally owe it to yourself. You've waited all these years for a Halo TV show. You owe it to yourself as a Halo fan to go in with an open mind and try and enjoy this as, a, as an all-rounded experience, right? Yeah, I mean like you enter anything with an expectation of negativity, like that's your, right, you're right. gonna have that bias, whether conscious yeah. or subconscious, if you're not, you know, just yeah. be in, have an open mind, Yeah, but yeah. also like, Remember, this is this is entertainment. It's for you, but it's also to expand it's for your the wider community. Audience, like, yeah. This is a way to bring people into y'all's community, mm -hmm. as opposed to you know gatekeep. Yeah. You know all of the fandom that is like actually. Yeah. Right. So like maybe don't and do that. This is know? coming. Try from, to. This is coming from a little bit of that's okay. Right. But to an extent. Right. This is coming from a lifelong Halo fan who has always dreamed of a Halo TV show, and from a guy who has only just started playing his first Halo game. So it's very it's two very different opinions. And I think they, they clash at the perfect point where we can agree that, A, I don't think this should be a canonical TV show. If it was, I would have liked it to either A, be a Master Chief story set between Halo 4 and 5, or be a Halo TV series set uh, with different characters, with new characters. They tried that with Halo Nightfall, people didn't like it, so they're probably scared and they want to use, and this has been a problem of Halo for generations, there's not really that many main characters, so really you only have the choice of doing a Master Chief story. Then do you, first of all, go down the silver timeline, you have the ability to kill off characters, you have the ability for the story to go in any direction. Mm -hmm. If you make a canonical story, especially based on Halo Combat Evolved, which this seems to be loosely based on, if you make a canonical story, 
you can't kill anyone, you can't have any variation of weapons or characters or events or even dates. Yeah, People wow. will be so obsessed with the consistencies in the lore, it makes it, in my opinion, even less enjoyable. It makes total sense to me, like, as you're saying that, it kind of, I mean, it ties the hands of writers, right? right. Like, wouldn't you rather have writers be able to do their job? Like, they're literally storytellers. Before you gave that kind of, like, elevator speech, I probably would have been like, I don't know, man, like, stick to, stick to the tale, stick to all that, but right. that's all great reasoning. Right. I mean... Yeah, it like give the people who tell stories the ability to tell stories and right. I think there's a way that you can still, you know, stay consistent with like the world that's been built mm -hmm. and like stay within like the bounds of like possibilities, you know, like if they start going into some stuff, you're like, that's like BS. Like right. we know that's BS, right. it doesn't make any sense, you know, right. that's a different story, but yeah, like allowing flexibility to I think have things. Move. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's especially from the start and being like very ahead of it. Like I think yeah. it's very smart of them to be like, hey, this is a different timeline. Yeah. As opposed they to took the hate blind immediately. immediately. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they they, they that was, swallowed the hate. That's pretty brilliant of them to mm -hmm. like, okay, well, we need to set ourselves free on this one and might as well bite the bullet early. Exactly. The worst thing they could have done was to be non canonical and then release the show without <laughs> letting And nobody on. knows. I know that would have been That's horrendous. the worst yeah. like thing they could have done. And I wanna reiterate So they at least they didn't do that? Yeah. I wanna reiterate, don't get me wrong. I know there's some big red flags here. I know the showrunner was oh, yeah, interviewed and said they right. haven't played the games. Oh, you told me that. And I, I get it. I get it. I, I get that there's a lot going wrong here. I think it's important that we just take what we're given here. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you look at Halo Infinite, right? Halo Infinite is technically Halo 6, but it is a soft reboot. It starts with pretty much everyone destroyed, and they start with just the Master Chief, like they did in Combat Evolved. Like, it is starting from the start again, because Halo 4 came out two console generations ago. But Halo Infinite is at least an okay starting off point. It's a bit confusing what Cortana is and what the weapon is and things, but it's an okay starting off point if you're a new fan. The same way in Combat Evolved, whoever played Combat Evolved had a million more questions than answers at the end of that game. So, it's That's a good fun, starting though, right? off point. Yeah. The same goes for this silver TV show, the silver timeline. Start off again. Start with new characters. And then do the same, I, I don't want to say Star Wars is a good example of anything, because Disney Star Wars is pretty uh, atrocious at times. Though we love Star Wars. We still love we Star still Wars love so Star much. Wars, and they still know. have the ability now to introduce small bits of the Star Wars legends into the main canon, things like Thrall. I really, like, I, I, I'm very attached to the Halo community. I think like the domain has built up this beautiful community that I, I feel very attached to. And it's sad to look on things like Discord and see people like complaining about this TV show before it's even come out. My advice, if I can give you anything today, personally, as a Halo fan, I'm in this for no other reason. Please go in with an open mind and try and enjoy this TV show. Mm -hmm. Like it's there to appeal to the masses, but I'm sure there's also gonna be some really cool lore. I've heard the Covenant is seriously badass in this show. And the reviews online are starting to look pretty good. But you're gonna have to come to terms with the fact that the Master Chief's gonna show his face. There's gonna be a lot of characters that kind of break the initial law. And probably the Halos are gonna operate differently. Probably the Master Chief is gonna be way more human than you want him to be. Like, there's gonna be a lot that doesn't feel like Halo. But in the same way that uh, I think the Halo fans and the Halo community have tried to embrace Halo projects in the past. I love Halo 4. Halo 5 had some good points. And each time I treated it like a new character kind of game. Halo Infinite is the first one that I treat as a core Bungie game. It's at least like, you've got to give it a chance. It just means a lot to Halo fans. We've been waiting like, what, nine years for a TV show. If we talk about what's good, they're going to fund more projects in the future. Yeah. If they, if Paramount sees that this Halo TV show does well, they could fund Halo Legends Volume 2, the animated mm. show. They could make loads of spin-off TV shows. They could do whatever they want. And that's what's interesting to me is like, when fan bases like, tear something down, down, right, you're less likely to get more content. Right. Right. Look at what happened like with the, the Mandalorian when that came out. We flooded that with positivity, and now it's like Obi-Wan Kenobi, Boba Fett, you know? If you want to do something, watch this TV show, then go to Twitter, go to Instagram, go to your social media networks, give it a big thumbs up, tag the producers. Say a couple of negatives if you want, but talk positively about this show, and then we'll get more Halo content, right? The worst thing we could do is complain and they just cancel it. Yeah, I mean, like, literally, it's absolutely the worst thing you can do is be so negative that they're like, oh, one, we exactly. can't appeal, two, this is unsuccessful. Exactly. Our friend Strandy42 put it perfectly that, like, Halo is in a state now where every new game, they pivot so heavily because people complain, right? At the end of Halo 4, we lost that sort of Reclaimer story 
because people hated on it. So then we had Halo 5 and they tried again with the Cortana story, people hated on it, and then they scrapped that for Halo Infinite. And that's okay, but I would really rather a continuous story versus these like reboots all the time. Like, let's give this some positivity and let's not get it canceled. <laughs> Cause that's so anti-progressive, you know what I mean? Like, it's so classic fan right, base. Right, though. exactly. It's so classic exactly. fan base. So getting, that is- uh, Getting their own thing canceled because it's not perfect. What are you- So that's our hot take for today. Support the Master Chief, find the Halo, win the war. Let's just go have some fun watching this TV show, man. Halo forever, baby. Halo, Halo's forever, man. Halo do or die. Hot takes. For forever, forever, Halo. Thank you very much domain. for tuning in today. This was Hundred years, years the domain. domain. Million years, the domain. Halo. It's kind of scary because this YouTube channel will probably transcend my lifetime. Ooh. Signing off.